Parts of speech. Do you know what parts of speech are in English and how many parts of speech are there in English? So, what are the parts of speech? Parts of speech are the markers we use to describe a word's function or the grammatical group to which it belongs. Are there eight or nine parts of speech in English? Some grammar sources classify determiners under their own category. But in traditional English grammar, we know nine parts of speech where a determiner is a part of speech and they are nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, determiners, prepositions, pronouns, conjunctions and interjections or short exclamations. In English, every sentence you write or speak includes words that fall into some of the nine parts of speech. Please note, some words can be considered more than one part of speech depending on context and usage. Let's look at the word well in the sentences. Are you well? Well serves as an adjective. He is doing well. In this sentence, well serves as an adverb. Well, I'll call you tomorrow. And in this sentence, well serves as an interjection. Interjections can form complete sentences on their own. For example, oops, wow. Okay, then let's take a closer look at the parts of speech and learn their functions and subcategories with examples, of course. Noun. Nouns are used to name people, places, things, qualities and activities. For example, grammar, dog, London, pet, teacher, Alex, jazz. Nouns act as the subject or object of the verb. Nouns can be proper, common, abstract, collective, countable or uncountable. Let's define the nouns in the sentences. This is my dog, Snoopy. He lives with us as a part of our family. There are two nouns in each sentence. Verb. Verbs are words people use to talk about actions, states and things that happen. Generally, verbs can be treated as two different parts. Lexical verbs, for example, play, work, think. Auxiliary verbs, such as be, have, etc. There are many subcategories of verbs, such as infinitives, modals, regular, irregular, etc. Verbs are a large part of English grammar. No doubt that nouns and verbs are the most important and useful parts of speech in any language. Let's define the verbs in the sentences. My uncle came to us last month. He wants to win a lottery. There are two verbs in this sentence. Adjective. Adjectives are words that describe or modify nouns and pronouns. They specify how long, or what kind, the noun, and more. Adjectives allow listeners to imagine the noun or pronoun more clearly. For example, a ball is large, round, and colourful. Have you imagined that ball? Can you find the adjectives in a sentence? I have beautiful flowers in my garden. Which car is yours? The red one is mine. Adverbs. Adverbs describe verbs, adjectives or other adverbs. They are used to say how, when, where and why something happened and to what extent or how often. Examples, softly, lazily, often, only, hopefully, sometimes. The basic type of adverbs is adverbs of frequency. Let's look at the sentences. She quickly took her bag. He decided to start immediately. Preposition. Prepositions are the link between a noun, noun phrase or pronoun and another word or phrase. For example, at, before, in the middle of, etc. We can name several groups of prepositions. Prepositions of directions, place and time as the main groups and others. I am sure you will easily define the prepositions in the sentences. I am going for some breakfast. Give that to me. Determiner. 
A determiner specifies a noun or a pronoun or states quantity to make clear which noun is referred to. They are articles, possessive adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, quantifiers. For example, the, these, my, etc. How about defining determiners in the sentences? He ran to the station quickly. There are two cats and three mice inside. Pronouns. Pronouns are used to stand in place for a noun to avoid repetition. There are several groups for pronouns, personal, reflexive, possessive, relative and others. Examples. He, that, they, it, her, etc. Let's look at the sentences. I want this. This is my pencil. Conjunction. Conjunctions are used to join words, phrases or sentences. For example, and, but, yet, as, etc. The main categories are the following. Coordinating conjunctions connect two clauses of equal importance into what we call a compound sentence. There are not many coordinating conjunctions in English. You can remember them with the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Subordinating conjunctions. When we connect clauses using subordinating conjunctions, we are giving one clause more importance than the other. The less important clause is called a subordinate clause. Two or more clauses combined with subordinating conjunctions are called complex sentences. Some common subordinating conjunctions are because, although, before, since, when, while and if. Now is the time to define conjunctions in the sentences. London is a large and important city. I will call you when I get home. Interjection this is a sort of exclamation that expresses emotion. Interjections differ in feelings of delight, pain or doubt, etc. Examples, wow, oh, hmm, uh, etc. It is easy to determine the interjections in a sentence. Oops, I've broken it. Wow, what a brilliant idea. Well, I'm sure that everything is clear for you. Now, as usual, Let's pass a short quiz to see how you understood the parts of speech. From each group of words, choose the correct word for the part of speech that appears on the screen. The word London is the proper noun. The word beautiful is the adjective to describe a noun. The word turn is the verb. The word always is the adverb of frequency. The word towards is the preposition of direction. Did you match the words and parts of speech correctly? I don't doubt that you have coped with this simple task. Thanks for learning English with the Ling Portal. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you all next time.